Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today we're going to be looking at my grandparents' deck profile. If you like Gigimon and you've been looking for a great way to play Gigimon, here you go. Uh, I have a friend who really likes Gigimon, and every single way he's tried to play him has not gone well. So, with the new Terriermon Alliance support, uh, I cooked this up. It's super fun to play. Uh, I don't think it's fantastic. I mean, you don't have protection on any of your stacks, which is a little bit tough. But this deck will vomit out Tamers, it will vomit out Digimon. And then you're going to go to Quartzmon and win the game. So, we are going to start with one copy of Cocomon. I needed a fifth egg. We do suspend our Digimon with Alliance effects, so that's why we run one Cocomon. Then we go four copies of Gummymon from the ST17 starter deck. If we have a Green Tamer, we're going to draw one when we attack. And we do like attacking, because that triggers Gigimon. So this is a great egg for this deck. Two copies of Memory Blocker Terriermon. Um, we do have some effects that care about Digivolving on Terriermon, so we ran two extra Terriermon. And this was my uh, Terriermon of choice. Four copies of ST17 Terriermon, um, main once per turn. You can play a green Tamer card or a level 3 Lotmon from your hand with the play cost reduced by 2, and when you're suspended, it gets 1k DP. So this is going to help us vomit out Tamers, or it's going to help us vomit out Lotmons, and then we're going to alliance with those Lotmons. And that Inheritable is super fantastic because we will be suspended to activate a lot of effects. So a little bit of extra beef on our boys. Then we're going to go four copies of the ST17 Lotmon. Uh, once per turn, you give alliance to something. Um... And then all turns when you're suspended, you get 1k DP. So, again, Alliance Engine, more or less, um, we're going to be suspended to do fun stuff. So, the Lotmon is fantastic. Three copies of BT14 Togemon. Uh, your turn when you would play a green Tamer card from your hand. By suspending one of your green Digimon, reduce the play cost by three. So, basically, you're going to get to play a free three cost Tamer or pay one for a memory center. And then the Inheritable lets you reduce your Digivolution cost by one if you have a green Tamer in play. So again, lots of ways to vomit out Tamer so we can get lots of Gigimon checks. Three copies of the new ST17 Gargomon. Uh, when this Digimon becomes suspended, one of your Digimon gains jamming for the turn. Uh, and all turns when you're suspended, you gain 1k DP. This is fantastic because when you attack, you can give yourself jamming because it does not say one of your other Digimon. Um, so early aggression in this card. Um, it's also a great syner uh, it's a synergistic card with the Alliance engine because if you suspend him for Alliance, you can give jamming to your checking alliance card. Um, so three copies of that. And then four copies of the BT11 Tyranomon on play. And when Digivolving, we're going to play a green tamer. We'll play cost three or less from our hand without paying the cost. And your turn, if you have a tamer in play, you get 2k DP. So we're going to be swinging with some big boys. Again, we're vomiting tamers. We need all the tamers. Um, two copies of BT11 Mamemon. This one is uh, only at 2 because we are running Babamon, and Babamon cannot Digivolve on black. So if we hit this with Gigimon, it's fantastic. If we Digivolve into this and then have a Gigimon in hand, this is also fantastic. But this is not fantastic when we have Babamon and Mamemon. So that's why it's at 2. Um, on play and when Digivolving, we're going to reveal top 5. Play a Tamer with play cost 4 or less and place the rest top or bottom of your deck in any order. And then the Inheritable lets you give something blocker when you play a Digimon by an effect. So Gigimon. Then 4 copies of Pongeamon. When Digivolving, you play a green or blue Tamer with play cost 4 or less from your hand without paying cost. Um, and your turn when you play another Digimon by an effect, one of your Digimon gains Rush. So, if there's a theme here, it's that we're vomiting Tamers. Um, then we're going to go two copies of BT15 Mega Kabuterimon Ace. So, on play and when Digivolving, one of your Digimon gets 3k DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Then if one of their Digimon is attacking, we can switch the attack target to this Digimon. And while you're suspended, you're not affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon. This is why we don't mind suspending our own Digimon, because we have these Inheritables that are going to give us 1k DP on the Gargomon, the Terriermon, the Lotmon. Um, and if somebody tries to swing into our security and they're not 9k, so if they're like an unboosted level 5, you can just Blast Ace into the Mega Kabu Terriermon, redirect to the Mega Kabu Terriermon, and kill their stack. Or you can give yourself protection. You know, it's really good. Uh, this card's actually, I think, really underrated. This is a fantastic ace for uh, green. So that's why we're running it at 2. Four copies of... Foxy Grandpa himself, Gigimon. Um, when Digivolving, you reveal top three of our deck. You play a Tamer among them without paying the cost. Place the rest top or bottom in any order. And then when attacking for each green or black Tamer you have in play, reveal one card from the top of your deck. You can play any number of green or black Digimon whose total play costs add up to 10 or less among them without paying the cost. The rest go bottom in any order. So, uh, this is going to play any of our host of Digimon that have on-play effects, like the Tyranomon, the Mamemon, um the Mega Kabuterimon, um, or it can play as our Babamon, because Babamon is play cost of 10, and it is a green Digimon, so that's really important to know. So the idea is get lots of Tamers, dig really deep with uh, Gigimon, get our Babamons on board, and then just go to town. Um, 
four copies of BT15 Babamon. I think this card is fantastic for GG Mon. Um, it's almost like they designed it that way. Crazy. Um, on play and on deletion, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6k until the end of their turn. So if we play this with the GG Mon effect, we're getting minus 6k to something, kind of mop up the board a little bit. Um, and then end of your opponent's turn, you can delete this Digimon to play a Rosemon or Digimon from your hand without paying the cost. Then activate the when Digivolving effect of the Digimon played this way. So if we have a stack with Babamon and it survives to the end of our opponent's turn, we just pop it. We play out a Digimon, we get the when Digivolving to play a Tamer, and then we're going to start swinging and looking for more Babamons. So uh, it's very good. I think it's it's super fun. Two copies of Quartzmon because you're going to be vomiting Digimon, and you have lots of Tamers on board. So when Digivolving, you're going to suspend all of those Digimon and Tamers, and then for every two suspended Digimon or Tamers, you're going to gain a memory. Nothing's going to unsuspend. And then when attacking, you're going to suspend something and then trash the top card of your opponent's security for every five suspended Digimon and or Tamers. So... This can clear out security really fast. The last time I played this deck, I had, uh, combined with Digimon and Tamers, uh, 16 cards on board. Like, we got some progress going. It was kind of crazy, and this trashed three security, and it felt really good. So, this is kind of the star of the show. We're building up our board and then going to Quartzmon for a win. Four copies of Agility Training. We're going to reel top two, take a green card, and then our next Digivolution is reduced by two. That's why we ran out of four. Two copies of Mimi. This is kind of the reason we have five eggs. We are going to be pushing rookies because you will get this faster than you think you will and you are going to get lots of value out of it. Um, so if you have a level five or higher green Digimon in play, you can suspend this tamer to hatch a Digi Egg and then uh, you can promote if you already have a level three uh, in your raising. So this is great. This is part of the equation for getting tons and tons of Digimon on board because you can get oh, like two. If you don't hit a Babamon, you get two extra Digimon off Digimon and then you can push with Mimi. Um, and if you have two Mimis in play, it's guaranteed one extra Digimon. So now we're talking about going from one Digimon on board to four Digimon on board. And you can see how the Quartzmon becomes a problem really quickly. Four copies of Taiga. This is going to keep Digimon big so that he survives our checks if we don't have Alliance. Um, and whenever we Digivolve into a level five or higher, we can suspend him to gain, uh, to reduce the cost by one. So that's going to help us Digivolve a lot, draw a lot of cards, find what we need, and hopefully hit that Quartzmon. Two copies of TK and Izzy. If we have a level 5 or higher Digimon in play, we gain a memory, which we should. Um, and if your opponent has a level 5 or higher in play, you gain a memory as well. So this can net you two memory, start your turn at 5. Um, and then when one of your Digivolve evolves into a yellow or green, we can suspend to give something minus 1k. Which is more powerful than it seems because there's a lot of decks that have 1k rookies and this guy will just mop them up. So I really like this card. I think it's really useful sometimes. So that is our GG Mon Baba Mon deck profile. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.